Hi there, so in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to manipulate thirds. Now before we begin, thirds are terms for involving square roots. So you can see I've got square roots in these terms right here, so this makes these expressions involving thirds. So two parts of this question. Part A, I've been asked to multiply with some brackets. Part B, I've been asked to add two fractions. So let's begin with part A. Now, I'll be going through this method quite quickly. I covered this method before in my multiplying out the brackets video. So I'd recommend that if you haven't seen it already, you had a look at it now. I'll leave the link in the video description. So, to begin, we've got 4 root 3 times 1, so just 4 root 3. Plus 4 root 3 times 2 root 2 or just 4 times 2 is 8, root 3, root 2, so plus 8, root 3, root 2, minus 2 root 5 times 1, minus 2 root 5 times 2 root 2, so just minus 4 root 5 root 2, Okay, so now the key step here is that when I've got like a root 3, root 2, I'll put those together, that's the same as the root of 3 times 2, or root 6. So I can now write this as 4 root 3 plus 8 root 6 minus 2 root 5 minus 4 root 5 times 2, or just 10. Okay, so that's the answer. Now, just a note, if you had this term, say, root 6 here, then you could just combine them as if the square roots were variables, so you'd have 8 root 6 minus 2 root 6, which would just be 6 root 6. Okay, so moving on to part B. Okay, so here we've got 2 over root 3 plus 4 over root 2. Right, so you need to get these over a common denominator to add them, as I've mentioned in some earlier videos. So a good idea for common denominator is to multiply the top and bottom of the first one by root 2, the top and bottom of the second one by root 3. So let's do that. So this gives us 2 root 2 over root 2, root 3, plus 4, root 3, over root 2, root 3. Right, now I'll go a step further using what I covered in part A. So you can see in the root 2 root 3 is here, that is root of 2 times 3 or root 6. So this is just 2 root 2 over root 6 plus 4 root 3 over root 6. Now, let's put an equals here. This comes out as just, now you've got an over common denominator, so this is just 2 root 2 plus 4 root 3 all over root 6. So that's the final answer. So that was how to manipulate thirds. Thank you.